Hey friends, Andy Ross here, pastor at Northminster Presbyterian Church in Tucson, Arizona. Today is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. And uh, I'm going to be honest with you, um, this stuff is getting to me. It, it's, it's hard. Um, you know, I know these little videos might make it feel like I'm just happy and positive all the time, but you know, it's, uh, there's times where it just hits me. And I know it's uh, been an emotional roller coaster for you. I get it. So today, to uh, to remind myself to be strong, I wore my Super Andy, my Super Andy T-shirt. <laughs> a dear friend gave this to me uh, a few years ago, and I don't wear it in public very often. I don't want to, you know. Uh, mislead people that I can just put on my cape and 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 I like to use my superpowers uh, in discreet ways. But today I want to talk to you about how you can be a superhero. I'm continuing with this story of Gideon in the Old Testament. In Judges chapter 7, there's this wonderful moment that you can overlook as a Bible reader. Uh, we're now at this point where God is telling Gideon, Go at night to the huge enemy camp. H hundreds and hundreds of soldiers and chariots and weapons. And it's at night. You go there and uh, I'll lead you in the victory battle. And again, I, I think Gideon is just okay. And then there's this one line that's so special. God says to Gideon, if you are afraid to attack, go down to the camp with your servant Pura and listen to what the enemy is saying. Did you catch that? Have you ever heard of a Bible hero named Pura? Is that a name that, that sticks in your head, Pura? It's right up there with Hogla. But God knows that we're frail. God knows we're not super. But God, in a moment of special grace, said, Gideon, take your servant, later he's called friend, take Pura with you. And Pura becomes a Bible hero of God's help. Today, friends, there are people on emotional roller coasters all around you or maybe inside you. Be a Pura for someone else. That's all you need to do. You don't need to be superhuman. You don't need to wear a cape. One of the best ways you can offer the grace and love of Jesus Christ to someone today is to send them a friendly, encouraging note that really says, I'm with you, I'm thinking of you, and I love you. Do it, and may God bless you on this day.